supposed to be showing this from a survival, survival like perspective. So that's fine. And I'll go to my completed one if I have to, just to show in the, how it actually ends up. If I end up messing this one up, because I did sort of struggle with it at first, and then I eventually got around and I'm like, oh, okay, this is what parts are missing. So it shouldn't be too bad. And I have also tried to mess around with like getting Minecraft to work inside um, the OS I was using, and I didn't get that working. So, oh well. But it will get rid of the toast notifications or tutorials. That should be fine. That's it. Okay. So if we just go VM computers here in REI, we can see there's a bunch of different pieces. So you've got your two types of PC cases, you've got your monitor, or CRT screen specifically, but you've got a few different options like a wall TV which is the biggest, flat screen, you've got different CPUs that are divided by the following, different RAM sticks, and obviously a bunch of other things like your keyboard and mouse and so on. Specifically what we want though is the ordering tablet, I'll select original, and this is just obsidian a stone button, compass, clock, glass pane, and daylight sensor. So we just click this, and obviously we'll just do this in creative, so it makes it easier. And this is pretty much the only thing you need to make in the mod. Uh, the rest you pretty much order from this ordering tablet. So, as you can see here, it says it's scanning for a satellite, and it'll check throughout the day. So if you're just doing typical survival stuff and you just you know, um, put it in hand, and then take a look around, then you can see every so often that there'll be a satellite. So we'll just fly around and see if we can find anything. Just to see if I'm missing anything. Okay, so nothing here. I'm not too sure. I don't really want to do it constantly, you just fly around and then find it. Uh, I do want to eventually get it to work for me. Alrighty then, seems not, I'm not lucky this time it seems, um, but yeah, I may, I'll give it a bit of my order, there's an English change that I need to do now. Come on. I didn't have this last time when I was testing it, so I don't know. Hmm, nothing? Yeah. Not just because I'm. Okay, it's got nothing to do with being on the ground either. Hmm. No, it just really doesn't want to show up. Oh well. Either way, the actual point of it is pretty much that you see a satellite, you make a connection with it, you can eventually access a store, order your PC parts like your case, your CPU, your peripherals, like your keyboard and mouse, your screens and other bits and pieces, and so on. And then eventually you'll order it, purchase it, it comes down, asks for your payment environment iron ingots, and then eventually it does, okay, your purchase can, uh, is done, it'll give you all the parts, and you just click them and you get a bunch of cardboard boxes, basically, or packages. And then from there you can start building. But uh, yeah, for some reason I can't seem to find it, so that's unfortunate. So can I get a chance of day or something? There we go. Never thought that would work, but hey, what do you know? So I have no idea which direction this is. It's kind of awkward. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at directions. Come on. Where are you? Oh, okay, just press. Oh, just press enter regardless. What does it just appear in a certain position? Oh, it always does that. Okay. So as long as it's just in there, you don't have to be that close to it. As long as it can show the circle on the screen, so you're fine. So you can see we've got the store, and we've got three options. Now you do need to use arrow keys for this, as you can see there, and then you select with enter. So you can go between any of them as much as you want. Now, so we'll just go with, I guess, a glass panel one, so we can see it. We'll go with the 32 because I've had a lot more success with that than 64, and that and I think you can kind of get 
must have worked well on the 32 gig motherboard. Um, I may just go with the 4 gig RAM stick just in case. Um, and I think that I've gotten 2 and 4 to work. I haven't gotten 6 to work, so we'll go with 4 because that's the one I definitely would prefer. We've got a GPU and we've got a hard drive, which we need to just go to the left of the arrow keys to exit out and then to the right doesn't do anything. Okay. So we've got peripherals, so we want a keyboard and mouse, and we'll get all three screens so you get an idea of what you can see on each of them, even though I could just place it later. Um, and this is obviously confirming your purchase or just removing items that you don't want. So if you want to change your mind, then you can. Uh, we'll just go purchase now, and that'll do its thing. And we should have a actual... Um, sort of arrival of, um, I forget what it's called, I don't want to say like drone, but like package bot thing, so yeah. And uh, we'll need some mining gets, so I need 86 because specifically they got quite a bit, and there we go. So you'll get the following appearing, and it'll display which direction, there we go. So you can see place your ingots in here, so 64, and there we go, it does negative 42, because apparently that's the case. And obviously if you're in survival, it would consume it, but due to being creative, it is just going to go, yep, you've already, you're able to just put in whatever. So, yeah, so that'll eventually display more. Where are we? Yeah, so it comes down, goes back up and then gets its stuff and then goes back down again. Now oh, there we go. So it's gonna land. Oh, and even though I have particles off, it's actually still displaying them. Interesting. At least for this. So, yeah. And here we go. So we can collect our packages, which contains all our pieces. And if you actually right-click, it'll open it for you. So, just do this, and there we go. And that's gonna disappear immediately. So, yeah. So we'll just do this, and I'll just do it out in the middle of, well, out in the open, because why not? Do we have any, like, specific, yeah, we'll do it inside a building, maybe, just because why not? Um, so, here we go. Oh, I did not want to destroy the floor there. No, stone age, yay. Um, do we have anything upstairs? Hello. No, we don't. Uh, Either way, we just put it on, I don't know, something. I don't have any other mods that add anything particularly. I don't know, we'll just go with a cobble sort of thing. Alright. Cool, so there's our bench. And then we've got our, we don't need the auto tablet anymore. Hello, villager. So we've got our PC case, and even though it shows red, it still means that you can place it, so it doesn't matter too much. So there we go. And since it's been creative, I can place multiple, but you don't need to do that. Um, I'll probably do it in survival, why not? And you get the same sort of placement thing regardless. So I can place the full screen here. You've got that, uh, CRT, like so. And you can place these sort of anywhere, so it's fine enough. Uh, we'll just place them like so, so we can see. And uh, you can't actually get rid of them on their own, so you do have to sneak and right click to actually remove it and then place it back down. This is pretty simple. This will be for pretty much anything I think in the mod. So as long as you have that, oops, this is not what I wanted. Um, so yeah, now that's fine. Um, we'll get our keyboard, we'll get our mouse. Oh, that's our hard drive. Sorry, uh, mouse here. And we've got our hard drive and everything else. So we can open the case and we can add the following. So we've got a 32 bit motherboard. And we can go back using right control if we want to. Or we can exit completely with escape. Next, we'll want to obviously, besides just putting the motherboard in, attach all our other pieces and we'll be fine. And there's no hard drive yet. So even though we have the actual hard drive item, we can't actually do anything else with it um, by just you know, trying to put in the case. We need to actually use it. So you right click to open it, or sorry, to access it, I should say, and you select a existing or otherwise. 
Now, because I don't have any OS in here, it doesn't really do anything. Um, oh, sorry, hard drive size, so or VDI actually. Now, I do technically already have one in, not that one, but in my other, as you can see here, I'm just going to copy these over. Um, so, let's see, in this VM computers folder, you can find pretty much in your environment. So, um, if you're on MultiMC, for example, you can just go to, say, Minecraft folder or any of the others, and it'll bring up the folder, and you can just go to the VM computers one here. So this is a VD... VHDS one, which is probably for all your virtual hard drives. You've got the setup config, which is all the responses, I think, that you put in to that, so the locational stuff. And then keybinds, and you've got obviously your OSs, which you can put in here, which will make it easier to access what you need. Now, for what we're wanting to do here, we're wanting to specifically state the hard drive size. So, I Pretty much similar to how you would put your hard, virtual hard drive size in VirtualBox. This is pretty much that part here. Um, what do you want to go with? Do you want to go with like 10 gig still? Do you want to go with. No. I need 10 gig for what I'm going to use, which is obviously Linux Mint. So I'll we'll go with. And yeah, we'll go 14 again. I guess why not? Um, Go 14 to that, so that's fine. Now, obviously, if you want to delete any ones you've created, you can do that as well. Select the existing, so we'll delete that or keep it um, or use it. And now that we have that, we can add it, so that's fine. And that's good to go. And then technically, you've got your OS there. So now that they're done, uh, that one, this one, yeah, in case they took the extra stuff I don't need. So we can switch, uh, select either of the two because they're now accessible in the folder. So obviously you want to download a specific one, for example, you can use Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. I'm just going to use Linux because it's the one I've had success with or just felt like using in comparison to using Windows. So I thought I'd do that. But I've used the 32-bit version, it works. The 64 probably might. It's just a obviously want with a 32-bit motherboard in here or just otherwise. So yeah, we'll go with the 32-bit of Linux Mint Cinnamon. And now we can just turn it on, and we'll see what happens. You don't need to connect other with cables or any other things at all, and it will give you feedback in the chat 